Uh, Geelong, but Peter Light normally a nice kick. Yet to kick a goal in this game. Let's see what he can do, Bob. Distance shouldn't be a problem. Tucked on a 45 degree angle, a drop punt on its way. Goal umpire has a good look and says one point only. So the margin is now one straight kick. Six points the difference, favouring Geelong. And of course, we remember that the Cats were 33 points down at half time, so it's been a magnificent fight back. Kick back into play, almost marked by Basenko. Couldn't quite complete it. Geelong in the band once again. A hurried kick by Drum, who's picked up plenty of touches today. At the back now, Merritt, the big fella, gets away from Johnston. Flicking one over the shoulder, but straight to Views. Picks it up at the second attempt. His kick going in towards the pocket. Zane Taylor is there, snares it beautifully. What's he got to kick to? He hooks it over the shoulder. Leo King getting back on it and takes it. Great mark under those circumstances. Plays Benny. on, and goal. Kicked by Harrison. Leo, you can see he had the space there to handball. Got it across to Harrison. He made no mistake and a good goal. Two to Geelong, 90 to Essendon. 12 points to margin. And we just saw the Geelong runner penalised for being in the square when uh, just a little late. And so the free kick going to Essendon. Essendon's Dunnell putting the ball towards centre half forward. A nice mark taken by Muir. So it looks as though uh, both Muir and Light, uh, defenders who opened uh, in the respective back pockets, now on the ball trying to give Essendon a lift. Essendon's captain, Russell Muir, trying to bring up his first goal. 12 points between the sides as Muir cannot bring them any closer. It goes over the boundary line on the full and Jan Smith of Geelong will put the ball out of the real danger area up towards half-back flank. A nice kick from Smith, favouring the drop punt. Side bottom in the middle of the pack, uh, could not get anywhere near the ball. Vasanko uh, trying to force the ball forward, cannot get it through. And umpire Cameron coming in to adjudicate by deciding to bounce the ball. Half-forward line for Essendon. Ten minutes have gone, 12 points between the sides as Walsh's a knock is taken by Floyd. Floyd putting the ball up, and a beautiful mark taken by Buse of Geelong. Sword high in the air, wonderful play by Andrew Buse. Sees the lead from the elusive Harrison, and he has certainly gotten on top of his opponent in Paul Johnson, and has three goals on the board. Harrison, a nice looking kick right to the goal square. It's marked right on the line by Zane Taylor. Taylor going straight back, and he'll line up to kick his sixth, sixth goal. <laughs> Been a great performance by Taylor. Point blank range. You can see him right in the middle of the square. The drop punt into the first tier and a goal. In the deep. Geelong running hot at the moment as Johnston puts them out into attack. King was just nudged out. He made position beautifully. A hurried kick by Harrison over the shoulder. Back in towards Taylor. It hits the post. Going through his arms in one point. Sandy, I, uh, Geelong have had an injury. Their runner has had to leave the field and be replaced. Been suspended for the rest of the game. <laughs> no, I think he did hobble off the ground. I think he really was injured. Well, he was doing so much running and he spent so much time out there, it's not surprising. It wasn't for giving away their free kick, was it, Robert? Flanagan going short. Oh, it's a bad pass. And Thompson takes the mark in the back pocket. 19 points the margin. Thompson's kick back towards the centre wing area. Doherty got too far underneath the ball. Opens it up once again for the Cats. Chipping in is Tom Floyd. Trying to put a handball out in front of Maddock, but too close to the boundary line, and over it goes. Sandy Maddock is one of the players who must get a lot of credit. He was shifted onto the ever-dangerous Doherty and uh, has put him right out of business. Yes, he's done a very good job. From the throw-in, pushing and shoving going on there, and we'll go the way of Essendon. A couple of quick goals is what they need. The tonic that may lift them. Johnson looking for the free kick, didn't get it. Oh, there's a strong clash. No big pardons there, and light slow to get up, but nevertheless, they push the ball down towards the half-forward line. The Geelong defence working overtime. Picked up by Reedy, went short then to uh, Hughes. Hughes trying to set up the handball to Mangles, handling it like a hot potato. Now he gets out of stripe, goes with a high left foot kick up towards the half-forward line. Coming out to meet it is Taylor, too far out to score. But he gets the handball away. It's a bad one, doesn't sit properly. The uh, Essendon defence quick to converge on it. The umpire comes in and says, let's clear it out. We'll have a bounce. There's well, some tired boys there. Well, oh, I feel that that ground must be rock hard too, Bobby. I notice a lot of players have been slipping over during this match, so we might see a, 
that happened in the senior game also. A beautiful knock by Flanagan, found Buse. Buse very quiet in the first half, but has certainly started to come into play. A magnificent mark not uh, too long ago, and he's been a uh, busy rover, giving Tom Floyd quite a uh, great support in these last few moments. Flanagan, number 36, Merritt, number 35. It's over both heads. Bennett puts a big fist to it. Andy Preston knocks, uh, takes the ball away. Preston again has been a, one of the players to lift the Geelong side. Knocked away by Walsh. Well oh. taken by Dale Smith. Smith's kicked towards goal. And Geelong are 25 points in front. 